offer this mass for the following intention archdiocese of hyderabad gadjanaram parish this mass is offered for the departed soul of tirumal reddy theresamma offered by raja reddy vijay rani and all family members and also let us pray for the intentions of all the divyavani tv channel donors Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Christ, we are in the holy week trying to become very close to god the almighty and trying to purify ourselves by repenting for the sinfulness what we have and as we participate in this holy eucharist let us ask the almighty god to wash away all our sinfulness and help us to come into his presence and experience his grace I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have, I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord. 
Lord, have mercy on your servants gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your servants gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thoughts, word, and deed. Lord, have mercy on your servants gathered here. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living Father, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I gave you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. First reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1 to 6. Listen to me, O coastlands, and hearken, you people from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother. He named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength from nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, my lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me. Pay heed to me and save me. Our response, my, my lips, lips will, will tell, tell of, of your, your help. help. Be a rock where I can take refuge a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. Our response, my lips, my lips will, will tell, tell of, of your, your help. help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from, from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have my help. Our response, my, my lips, lips will tell, tell of your help. help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help. Though I can never tell it all, O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonders still. Our response, my, my lips, lips will tell, tell of your, your help. help. Let's please rise for the gospel acclamation. I completely give myself into your hands to bear me where you will as would the wind that bears the sands thanking you and blessing you whatever you may do I readily abandon 
lifting all from you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. During supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified. Truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he spoke. One of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, was lying close to the breast of Jesus. So Simon Peter beckoned to him and said, Tell us, who is it of whom he speaks? So lying thus, close to the breast of Jesus, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is he to whom I shall give this morsel when I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Then, after the morsel, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the money box, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the morsel, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and in him God is glorified. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, Where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why cannot I follow you? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are in the Holy Week, spending much time in prayer, practicing all the liturgical activities in our spiritual journey. And at this juncture, in today's Gospel reading, we have three personalities which give us a life-giving message for every one of us in our spiritual journey. Judas Iscariot, a model of hard-heartedness. Peter, a model of repentance. And Jesus, a model of perfect sacrifice. And when we try to reflect on these three personalities, Judas Iscariot, a model of hard-heartedness. We all very well know Jesus Christ had given utmost importance to Judas Iscariot. When we look into these three personalities, Judas Iscariot 
a model of hard heartedness. We see how hard heartedness he is. Jesus Christ had given utmost importance to Judas. When they are dining together, Jesus asked Judas Iscariot to recline at his left so that he can lie on his chest and relax. And also Jesus Christ offered the first piece of bread from his plate as a sign of honor to Judas. And also Jesus had trusted him by giving him the in charge of the finance of the group. But Judas Iscariot was not able to really understand all these things. Why? Because we can clearly understand the motives of Judas Iscariot are something very, very different enough. Judas Iscariot believed and trusted that Jesus Christ is the triumphant Messiah, not the suffering Messiah. He wanted Jesus not to suffer. He wanted to Jesus to become the king of Israel so that as the finance minister or the in charge of treasury, he want to rule the kingdom of Israel. But he was very, very much disappointed when he understood that Jesus is the suffering Messiah who is going to undergo the passion and death that he did not digest, he could not really take the message of the suffering Messiah where he was dreaming about the triumphant Messiah. And that made Judas Iscariot to become hard-hearted and at the same time to betray our Savior Jesus. And dear friends in Christ, in our spiritual journey, especially in this Lenten season, throughout these 40 days, we have really fasted, spent much time in prayer, and we have given the alms. We have done lot many acts of mercy. What was our motive? Are we like Judas Iscariot, trying to expect something from God the Almighty in return for all these Lenten practices what we had? Or are we really trying to walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ to suffer and sacrifice and be obedient to the word of God is a question we need to really meditate upon in this holy week. And secondly, let us look and try to understand Peter. Peter is a model of the perfect repentance. A very, very generous person who doesn't keep anything in his heart, the words will simply come out of his heart and he is a very, very genuine person, but a very, very weak and fragile human being. And in his weakness, he had sinned by denying our Savior Jesus Christ. And immediately afterwards, he realized his own sinfulness and started to cry bitterly and weep and feel sorry for what he had done. And afterwards, he went forward to become the martyr, to die for Christ, a perfect model of repentance. And dear friends in Christ, again let us take our own Lenten observances, the past 40 days, what we have spent. Every one of us, almost every one of us have gone to confessions, participated in adorations, spent time in meditation, reflecting our own lives. Was there a true repentance for our sinfulness? Are we able to weep and feel sorry like Peter for the sins what we have committed is a question we need to meditate in this holy week. And finally, we have our Savior, Jesus Christ, the perfect model of sacrifice and obedience to God the Almighty. 
And we have done so many sacrifices in this Lenten season. Did not eat meat. I think most of us have forgot watching movies or entertainment programs. Some sort of sacrifices we have done. For what all these sacrifices were? All these sacrifices have really led us to experience the presence of God and to be obedient to God the Almighty is a question we need to meditate in this holy week. Dear friends in Christ, let us pray and ask the Almighty God today to bless every one of us to be like Peter, to be the true repentant person for the choices what we have made against our Savior Jesus Christ. And secondly, let us ask the Almighty God to remove all the he evil habits what we have, all the addictions what we have, so that we, ca we can come very close to the Almighty Father. And also let us pray and ask God the Almighty, as for Jesus, the passion and death was his glory in a similar way. Let the humility, the commitment, and self-service for the other person may become our own glory. Let us pray for all these things in this holy week, and let us prepare ourselves to receive our Savior on Easter Vigil, the new light and new life into our lives. Amen. Let us all put forward our prayers and petitions to God the Almighty. God our loving Father, bless our Holy Father, our bishops, clergy and religious. Give them wisdom and knowledge so that they may be the perfect people in doing the mission what you have given them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for all the faithful as every one of us are preparing to celebrate the resurrection. And may we really repent for the sinfulness and clean our hearts and receive the new light and new life into our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for the children and for the youth. Help them to understand the meaning of true repentance and help them to receive the new life and new light what you are giving at this Easter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all the Divyavani TV channel donors. Loving Father, receive their intentions. Give them the grace and blessings that are sufficient to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. God, our loving Father, clean our hearts and fill us with your grace and help us to be ever ready to receive you into our hearts and family and lives. We ask this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Take 
Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice from, from your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Almighty and ever-living Father, look favorably, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those who make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion, and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohorts to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there. 
and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty and ever-living Father, nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, To you God entrusted His only Son, In you Mary placed her trust, With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, Show yourself a Father, And guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Days are filled with sorrow. Okay.